For a California native and recovery leader, Argyris, helping those that may feel at their lowest begin their journey towards feeling their best. Called a friend and he was able to get me a bed out here at the Mission Foundation. And um, since then, uh, I went through their 28 day intensive program and uh, became a staff member is much more than just his job. It's a part of his story and reason for working at the McShin Foundation in Richmond. I had 14 years of, you know, trying to get into recovery and um, and also I have an older brother who passed away due to an overdose and my mom passed away um, because of an overdose as well. The foundation was founded in 2004 to help fill the void in recovery resources available to Richmonders. Resources to bring people in even when they don't have uh, funds. Many of McShen's staff also battled addiction and now use their experiences to help others get better and avoid overdose. I am an alcoholic, um, so I was introduced to recovery from my dad. I am in recovery from substance use disorder. An abuse that unfortunately oftentimes leads to overdose deaths, something the Center for Disease Control and Prevention says increased significantly in a study released in July. The CDC found from 2019 to 2020, drug overdose death rates increased 44% amongst non-Hispanic Black people and 39% amongst non-Hispanic American Indian and Alaskan Native people. 2020 was a terrible year for everyone, I feel like. Um, And I think anything that society is feeling as a whole, the black communities feel it tenfold. A number therapist and founder of the nonprofit Men to Heal, James Harris, says he is not surprised by, especially those in relation to black males. So the study didn't really surprise me. I was more taken back by Oh, man, this is now public attention. The study says in 2020, overdose death rates for black men over the age of 65 was nearly seven times higher than that of white men. Yeah, definitely, of course, in African-American communities, because oftentimes our communities are the ones who lack those access to certain things. Um, The study finding areas with greater income inequality have much higher overdose death rates because of lack of treatment and resources, more than two times higher in some areas. We saw treatment centers and hospitals turning people away. People who are already afraid to ask for help are now being turned away when they finally do ask for help. Yeah, the study concluded, excuse me, with steps towards a resolution many health leaders continue to advocate for till this day. Those include number one, increase and access reduced treatment barriers. Number two, raise awareness about illegally manufactured fentanyl and reduce stigma around treatment. And three, support harm reduction efforts, including overdose reversal drugs. We will have all of those resources listed on our website at WTVR.com.